Welcome to the Newfoundland Outsider. <laughs> Coco and I are in for the weekend. We're going to finish up the uh, siding on the outside. And we're going to install a diesel heater system in the cabin. But right now we got to get this little guy inside. Get the wood stove going. So I'm going to use this little heater system for at night, uh, you know, around 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock when the wood stove has gone out and it's cool all night and people have got to get up and use the washroom, then I like to keep it a little warm during the night. So that's what we're going to use the diesel heater for. And it's got a little remote control. And the heater itself got a little touch screen for turning it on and off. So it's got to be on a shelf or at least elevated so the exhaust can come out the bottom and go out through the wall. So what I've done is just made a set of a legs for it so I can move it around if I want. So I'm just going to bolt these on. So I can elevate it, and then my exhaust will come out the bottom. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole right here for my exhaust. I'm going to put this piece of three inch pipe through there. And I'm going to have a cover on both sides with a little one inch hole so I can line it up. And we can keep the exhaust right in the center of this pipe so it won't burn the wall. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this little pipe in some uh, fiberglass tape. Then we're going to put this cover air over it. And I'm going to use this one with a centering hole to center the exhaust pipe exactly in the middle of the, uh, the pipe going through the wall. A 
I'll put some more cloth around there after. And I'm going to do this around with fire retardant and silicone. It's also got a little muffler you can put on the outside to keep it quieter. So let's go hook the battery up and we'll try this diesel heater. See what it's like. So they give you a two foot, a little two foot flexible output duct. But I'm going to get another couple of feet because I want to go over by the couch and on the floor. But we'll use this for now. Okay, I got the battery hooked up. It's hooked up to a 12 volt battery. Just a simple two wire. I just got this battery temporarily until I get my solar system in. And, I, and then I'm going to wire it into my solar system. You just hold the power button. And the little flame comes on and it's going through its sitting and then it's going to start ejecting fuel and then fire up so you hear that clicking that's the fuel starting to be injected into the uh, little heater system and while it's running you'll hear that click Now it's getting warm. It's just been a couple of minutes already and it's already nice and warm. Now it's really warm. So we'll go outside and check our exhaust system. Right, it seems set up good. We're getting a lot of snow. Look at this. So this evening we're gonna go for a nice little walk. Take our pump gun and see can we see a grouse. And we'll have some and we'll have some supper when we come back. And then tomorrow we gotta try and put all the strips on the exterior. The front needs some strips and some caulking and around the windows and things. So we'll do that tomorrow. Well, I'm going for a little walk before I make my supper. But I might have left it too late. I didn't realize how early it got dark now. But anyway, we'll go for a little walk and stretch our legs. Quite a bit of snow actually. <clears throat> Got a few centimeters down now. Just gonna walk down here where I know there's a family of grouse. See if I can't get myself one for tomorrow's supper. I also got my slug gun with me. It shoots slugs or regular shells. See a moose, we're at moose for supper. Well, no luck. I left too late. I left that quarter to five. It was getting dark already. 
Try it again tomorrow. What do you think, Goko? You had enough to eat? Yeah? Wanna go to bed? Go to bed now? So I'm gonna make a bunch of pork buns. So that when I'm off uh, moose hunting tomorrow morning and Sunday morning, I'll have something to snack on. Good morning. Well, it was windy all night. Northerly wind all night and snowed pretty good. We got a few centimeters of snow. So I had the little heater going all night. I started at 10 o'clock and it 
seven o'clock right now. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the level indicator. There's about eight liters in there. So I probably burned like a liter and a half. According to the book, it's supposed to burn 0.1 of a liter per hour. Still showing that I got 12 volts, so that's good. We'll try again tonight. And I kept it around 10 degrees all night. That's at the lowest sitting. So I started the heater last night around 10 o'clock. It's around, what time is it? It's 10 after 7 right now. I got it on the lowest possible sitting. It's got 7 sittings. And I kept it around 10 degrees all night, which is kind of what I wanted. Maybe a little more would be good for getting up at night. And, uh, you know, when the wood stove goes out, it goes back, your cabin goes back to freezing for the rest of the night after that. Especially for getting up and use the washroom. Plus, I got my little dog with me, Coco. I don't want to keep it warm for him, especially during the day when I'm gone. So yeah, I think it's a great little heater. So it gives you some kind of idea how good the little heater is. This little cabin is 16 by 24. Not insulated. It's kind of insulated. I'm working on it. All the heat is just going through the ceiling right now because it's poorly insulated up there. We got to work on that yet. And I got to finish the exterior siding. So yeah, we've had, it's been like 25 or 30 kilometers of northerly wind all night. So it's windy, snowy, in an uninsulated cabin, and that eater on low kept it at 10 degrees all night. That's pretty good. So now we're going to get a cup of tea and get packed up, and we'll go for a little hunt. One fresh track here this morning. It's a beautiful, beautiful, calm morning. We had about five centimeters of snow last night. And there's a moose gone that way. And the track is very fresh, just an hour old. So we'll go down there, see if we get any luck. I'm out tracing out these bull tracks and I see where he bid down last night. There's a set of bull tracks here and cow and a calf tracks. So we're gonna walk up on top this ridge and overlook this valley. Well, I trace out the tracks of the bull and the cow and the calf up to these woods here. But it's so thick you'll never get at them. There's also a separate cow uh, track I've seen on the way in there. Very fresh all this morning. So a really good way to slow yourself down while you're moose hunting and not move around so much. Just to make on a little fire and have a cup of tea. That passes away at half an hour. And by then, the moose be moving out of the timber.
my beaver craft axe. Great little hacks. What an absolute beautiful, beautiful morning. I don't really care if it catches anything or kills anything. Just to be out here is phenomenal. Man, it's quiet. There's nobody around. Okay, we're back. No luck this morning. I was just talking to a few guys back there. They saw uh, three cows up on the ridge, close to where I was actually. 
I didn't see any animals. I saw lots of fresh tracks this morning in the snow. A few cow, one bull track, and a couple calves. So we're gonna have lunch now. And we gotta get started at that siding and get that finished off because winter is coming soon. Well, I got as far as I can go today. I uh, I framed out the three windows and I put uh, some strips on. So tomorrow I just gotta put on the remaining vertical strips. That should be it, hopefully. <laughs> Got a couple cows here this morning. Guess my luck, I got a bull only. It's hard to tell. Sometimes you got a little, a little tiny handler be under ears, but I can't tell from this far. Good morning, welcome back. Well, it's Sunday, our last day in there. It is very windy and minus three this morning. 
It seemed like it's getting windier. I saw two cows back there. I heard a gunshot up there. And yesterday I saw a bull and a cow in these little ridge line across the river there. So I'm just having a look and see if they come out this morning. Okay, so we're back. We didn't have no luck with big game. We saw some uh, cows. Um, I saw a couple guys going after a bull up on top of the ridge. I heard a couple shots, so hopefully they got their bull. I saw a couple of caribou. All in all, it was a great morning though. We had a great walk. And I gotta try and finish the strips on the siding at least today before I go home. But first, we need breakfast. Hey Coco, want some breakfast? You want some breakfast, Coco? Ready for breakfast? <laughs> 